Coming up, a student killed on her way to school. Here are the shocking details. Also ahead tonight, a judge handing down an unusual sentence. And a centenarian getting a special visitor as she celebrates her birthday. The Bahamas Tonight, the National Report, starts now. Now in HD. ZNS Network presents The Bahamas Tonight. This portion of the news brought to you by BTC Every Day. Education officials are investigating the circumstances surrounding the death of an honor roll student today and we're told that the teenager was an innocent victim who was on her way to school when tragedy struck. Good Friday evening Bahamas, I'm Altaviz Munnings. Good evening everyone, I'm Keish Latterly. Thanks for joining us tonight. Apparently caught in the crossfire of a fight, the student's tragic death has prompted education officials to call an end to the violence. RCS Gatterly has been following the story. Police have launched an intense manhunt for those responsible for the death of a 16-year-old female student of Government High School. ZNS News understands that several people are assisting police with this investigation. According to the Ministry of Education, the 10th grade honor roll student was heading to school on a bus around 8 a.m. on Lazaretto Road off Carmichael when she was struck to the head. She was rushed to hospital where she later died. The Ministry of Education, Science and Technology statement issued Friday afternoon expressed sadness in learning of the passing of the student as saying she was an innocent victim caught in the crossfire of young men throwing rocks. Government high school administrators called an emergency assembly to inform students of their schoolmates death just before dismissing them for the day. Counselors from the Ministry of Education are expected to report to GHS Monday morning to provide grief counseling for students and staff. Officials are extending heartfelt condolences to the victim's family and their thoughts and prayers are with them and the government high school as well. Education statement concluded by saying they are deeply saddened by this tragic event and calls on Bahamians to unite to promote a spirit of peace and love in our Bahama land. C.S. Gatterly, ZNS Network News. In other news tonight, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Immigration confirming 23 Bahamians were deported from the United States on Thursday. The ministry's release indicated that the deportation follows new, new United States Immigration and Customs Enforcement procedures for the removal of persons no longer wanted in the United States. Foreign Affairs and Immigration Minister the Honorable Fred Mitchell informed ZNS News that he was advised that the 23 Bahamians served time in the United States for criminal offenses, while two of them also served for immigration violations. Minister Mitchell said the Bahamians served in both U.S. state and federal prisons and were deported upon the completion of their sentence. The Foreign Affairs Minister also confirmed that the U.S. used dedicated flights instead of commercial flights to return the Bahamians home. He maintains that deportations from the United States are not unusual. A judge sending a strong message today, handing down the unusual and controversial sentence of flogging. Our Fern Carey tells us what, the, what crime the judge deemed the sentence appropriate for. Convicted armed robber Neville Knowles will be flogged eight times for robbing four people on separate occasions while armed with a machine gun back in 2011. That's according to an order from Justice Cheryl Grant Bethel. Justice Bethel's order came after she sentenced 26-year-old Knowles to 20 years behind bars on the four armed robbery charges. She also gave him 10 years in prison for possession of a firearm with intent to endanger life. Justice Grant Bethel noted that Knowles has expressed no remorse for the pain and suffering he caused the victims, who testified that they were traumatized and in fear for their lives. She also noted that he touched one of the female victims in a sexual manner while robbing her in front of her boyfriend. Nose's attorney asked the court for leniency, revealing that he was 21 when the crime happened and he can be rehabilitated. The attorney also indicated that Nose did not have proper guidance as a child after being abandoned by his mother and raised by an abusive father. 
However, in passing sentence, Justice Grant Bethel noted that Nose has prior convictions and has not taken responsibility for his actions. She also indicated that he had no respect for his victims during the robberies, which police described as well-planned and well-executed. She told Nose she hopes his sentence will deter him from committing other crimes in the future. Nose appeared calm as sentence was passed. He will be flogged four times, two canings at a time, at the Bahamas Department of Corrections in Fox Hill. Fern Kiri, CNS Network News. Well, still on news from the courts, the 40-year-old prison officer reportedly caught with drugs at the Bahamas Department of Corrections on Wednesday was formally charged today. During the proceedings, Earl Dean pleaded not guilty to one count of possession of dangerous drugs with intent to supply. The prison officer was arrested on Wednesday by officers of the Drug Enforcement Unit at the entrance area of the Bahamas Department of Corrections after they say they found a taped package containing just over 10 ounces of marijuana in his possession. Bail was denied and Dean has been remanded to the Department of Corrections. However, his attorney requested that consideration be given to where he will be housed as Dean is a prison officer. Magistrate Andrew Forbes noted the concern. Dean returns to court on May 9th for trial. A magistrate has ruled that a preliminary hearing take place in the child pornography case of former police officer Edmund Lewis Jr. That means the court will determine whether or not there is enough evidence against Lewis before the case proceeds any further. Lewis is accused of child pornography with a then underaged girl featured in one of two videos. The alleged victim, now 18 years old, testified earlier that she recalled having consensual sex with Lewis but was not aware that it was being recorded. Lewis has pleaded not guilty. Progressive Liberal Party Chairman Bradley Roberts says comments made by opposition leader Dr. Hubert Minnis over the arraignment of Cabbage Beach protesters displayed crass stupidity and a frightening rashness of language. He was responding to Minnis' declaration that the Free National Movement would expunge those charges if elected in 2017. By his uncontrollable and runaway rage and words, Dr. Minnis has done incalculable damage to the administration of justice and the rule of law. This whole unfortunate affair could have been avoided if Dr. Minnis had formed all and sundry that the Prime Minister had solved the problem hours before the protests and fury. If this is the FNM's position, then God helped the rule of law under an FNM government. If you know of a crime, please call Crime Stoppers at 328-8477, toll free 242-300-8477. You can also check them out on www.crimestoppersbahamas.com. Let's stop the crime before it's your time.